Hi, this is Mr. Doral. Today we're going to learn a simple concept, but a concept that needs some practice about molecular and molar masses. I want you to be able to calculate molecular and molar masses for any given compound. Here are a couple definitions that you need to know. Molecular mass also could be thought of as atomic mass, whether you're with an atom or a molecule. But it's the mass of one, I put stinky little molecule or atom. Molecules and atoms, you hold them in your hands, you're not even going to see them. And the units on these, you're going to need to know what those units are. The units are AMUs, which stands for Atomic Mass Unit. Very tiny, we don't have anything in our lab that we can measure AMUs in. Molar mass, though, is the mass of one mole of, a mo of molecules or atoms. One mole is a huge number. It's 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, a number that we can't even imagine. And these are units that we can actually measure in the lab, and these are in grams. And so that's the difference between molecular and molar mass. The good news is that they're calculated the exact same way, and they will have the same number, but they're going to have different units. Now that doesn't mean that they're the same quantity, it just means that they have the same number, different units. For example, if you were six feet tall, or you were six miles tall, you would not be the same height, you, it's just the same number. And we're going to calculate all of these using the average masses on the periodic table. So you're going to want to get your periodic table out as we're going through this. Get that out right now in your calculator. Now that you have your periodic table out, I just want to remind you where the average atomic mass is. The average atomic mass, I'm picking fluorine, here's fluorine right here. The average atomic mass is written right underneath it. On our periodic table, we've got it rounded to two places after the decimal. So for fluorine, it would be 19.00. That's important that you have two places after the decimal each time. For zinc, zinc, the average atomic mass is 65.39. And so make sure you know you're picking the right numbers. These numbers down here on the bottom, like on technetium here, are that's 1.9. That is not the average atomic mass. That is the electronegativity. We'll deal with that later. So we're just going to jump right in and calculate some molecular and molar masses. These are things that I expect to see on your notes. I expect to see that you guys are doing these pro practice problems and you're writing them down and then you have notes that you can go back and check out. So we're going to do three different substances. This first one is an atom and it is just phosphorus. This one is a molecule, chlorine, Cl2. This one's a molecule, H2O. So we're going to calculate both of these. First of all, we got to look at the periodic table for each of these. Now you have your periodic table out, but I have to keep flipping back and forth, so I'm just going to show you on this one. Here's phosphorus, it's 30.97. We have to deal with chlorine, and then we have to deal with oxygen and hydrogen, which are both in the H2O. And so you shouldn't circle these on your periodic table, but I am because I can just erase it. So on this first one right here, phosphorus, remember that we had the average atomic mass was 30.97. Now since it's just plain old phosphorus and there's nothing else with it, then we can have the molecular mass. That, or in this case, it would be atomic mass, but that's just the mass of one atom, and it's 30.97 AMUs, atomic mass units. The molar mass is if you had 6.02 times 10 to 23rd of these phosphorus atoms, and if you did, the number would be the same. 30.97, but now it's something that we can measure a lot easier, which is grams. All we did was copy that right over. Now for chlorine, we have to deal with this little 2 that's down here. It means we actually have a Cl and a Cl. And so we have to double it. This, When we have a subscript, we multiply the mass by that. Chlorine was 35.45, and there are two chlorines in here, so we're just going to multiply this by 2. And when we do that, we get 70.90. That zero is important. Your calculator won't have that. It'll just have 70.9. But that we would need two places after the decimal. For the molecular mass then, that number is just 70.90. You got it, AMUs. And for molar mass, it's the same number, 70.90 grams on that. H2O, now we have a, a little different situation. This 2 goes with the H, so we have two H's and one O. Each H is 1.01, and we had two of them, so I'm going to multiply that by 2. But when you go from one atom to another, the H to the O, or one element to another, then you add. That's very important that you know that. 
add and then the oxygen is 16.00 and so you can just plug this in your calculator like this 2 times 1.01 plus 16.00. Make sure you're only adding when you're going from one element to another. And when you do this, you're going to find out that it's 18.02. And in the for one stinky little molecule, one molecule of H2O, it's going to be in AMUs. And for the one mole of H2O, 6.02 times 10 and 23rd molecules of H2O, it's going to be 18.02 grams. Now a question that I always like to ask is which one of these two is bigger? 18.0 AMUs or 18.02 grams? And obviously it's the grams because this is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd of these molecules and this is only one stinky little molecule. Okay so I've got two more situations here. These are quite a bit tougher. So what I want you to do is I want you to take a look at your periodic table and I want you to pause this and write down what each mass is for each element that's listed here. And then I'll show you what to do with the parentheses. And uh, same thing down here. you got N, A, C, and O, and H, and O. And so just point at them and put the little masses under each one. And then we'll determine what to do on each one. So pause it right now. I'm going to pause it and I'm going to do it too. All right, so if you notice what I've done here, each one I picked out. I haven't worried about the subscripts yet. I haven't worried about any of these and even this big number right here yet. But 40.08 is what calcium is. Now, there is only one calcium here. The parentheses, this little two that goes outside the parentheses right here, this goes for everything that's inside the parentheses. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say 40.08 plus because I'm switching to something new. Now, the question is, how many carbons do I have? This shows that I have two carbons because this two goes with the carbons. But this shows that I have two sets of everything in here. So what I have to do is take this little subscript on the outside and multiply it by each of these other subscripts. So I've got two sets, and each set has two carbons in it. That means I have a total of four carbons. So I'm going to multiply that carbon mass, that was 12.01, times four. Then I'm going to go to hydrogen. Moving on, I add. And then I have two sets, and each one has three hydrogens in it. So I get two times this three hydrogens. And so I end up with six hydrogens. Six times 1.01. And then four oxygens, because I got two sets, and each set has two in it. So I'm going to add, because I'm going to oxygen now, four times 16.00. So I plug this all in my calculator. 40.08 plus 4 times 12.01 plus 6 times 1.01 plus 4 times 16. So do that now. And when I did that I got 158.18. If that's molecular mass for one molecule of that it's 158.18 AMUs. And if it's molar mass it's 158.18 grams. Okay, so now this bottom one down here, this one we have, we can do this side e very easily, the Na2CO3. This is called a hydrate, and a hydrate means that these, are, these water molecules are actually kind of trapped inside of this. And this two in front goes with everything after it, so this is two sets of H2O. So we're going to do kind of the same thing that we did above, two times this two, which is going to give us four O's, or sorry, four H's, and two times this is an understood one down here, which would give me two O's. So I want you to fill in all those numbers that go along with that. Okay, I put them in here, and I put them in blue, because I have two NA's, that's why I got the two, sorry, I had to squeeze it up here, and then only one carbon, so that's my just 12.01, three times the oxygen, that's where this three comes in, three times 16, plus because I'm adding on these extras here and I have four two times two gives me four uh, hydrogens 1.01 .01, and two times this one gives me or the oxygen gives me two times 16 then we calculate it and I got 142.03 so this is going to be 142.03 AMUs for the molecular and 142.03 grams for the molar mass. Okay, now you know how to do them. You can do these four. Find the molecular mass and the molar mass. I really need you to show your numbers on these. And remember, you need to have on your notes, you need to have those examples. So, have fun.